Uh, so we've just left a place called Sinez and after 12 days of waiting was a crack weather we're finally setting off for 673 miles oh to, <laughs> to the Canaries. We've left with a friend of ours on Shavora, Freddie and Jackie and they're about a mile ahead of us. Uh, but we yeah. figured uh, if we attempt to go together then we can offer each other a bit of moral support. Yeah, just over the radio and cheer ourselves up. But um, we'll probably make a couple of videos on the way and we will update this when we get there hopefully. God knows when that's going to be. <laughs> See ya. Bye. So guys, apology for the way I look. I've had my hair clipped back all day in the sun so I'm looking a bit rank. But I'm on the video because our li another little birdie friend has come to visit us. Only this time he's decided to perch on the cooker amongst the spaghetti bolognese that we just cooked and he's actually sleeping. He's proper asleep. He's not even waking up now that I'm putting this camera in his face. So I won't disturb him because he obviously needs some rest. Bye birdie. Hi guys, we're uh, halfway through our Canaries trip so we thought we'd do an update. At the moment, Simon's out in the rain taking one for the team and I'm still in bed, it's 10 past 10. Uh, we've spent all night getting smashed, rocking backwards and forwards because of the swell and there's not enough wind to steady us, it's been pretty awful. Um, I was just going to get scrumpy swaying then. But um, he's not doing it now. We're not swaying as much now, he but don't now worry, now. it'll soon come. Hold on. <laughs> oh, little scrambles. Simon's up here. There's Simon. Hola. Say something. Hola. How's it? Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah, go on then. How's it going, everybody? Uh, yeah, so four nights we've done, almost four days. 670 miles is the trip and we've done 380 so far so we're about 300 left because we've zigzagged off a little bit but we're tired and we're ratty and we've and wet and wet hungry and hungry yeah the gas rang out at four in the morning when i was trying to make myself some super noodles and it's too rough for simon to go out and change it um and i don't know if I want you to see how much we're so swaying, but every now and again it's just horrendous. I'm going to try and take some more video just for you to really comprehend how awful this can be. Anyway, see you around. Bye. <laughs> so, I'm trying to video you to get an idea of the waves. But it's not coming out very good. It is a big one, scrimp. This is why we're rocking so much. Because we are gliding over these massive waves. And when you're inside the boat, it makes you rock like you've never rocked before. Good boy! Scrumpy's having a wee wee on his Astro Turf. Good boy! We put him in his little life jacket and put his lead on him for safety. He's a good boy. Oh my god, it's a massive wee. Good, good boy. boy. Come here. Has, yeah. he had a, has he had a poo yet? No, he won't go. Oh. Come on. Oh Let's well. Clean it. Good boy. We'll try yeah. for a poo later. No, that's not a big wave. So, we're doing another update. Above. Simon's eating his breakfast and this is, shows you the rocking motion much better because you can see how much Simon's side is going up and down. How are you enjoying your uh, breakfast on the waltzer? Absolutely lovely. <laughs> because that's literally what it felt like last night. It felt like I was on a fairground ride that was never going to end. The thing is, we can't explain, like, you'll be looking, going, oh, that's okay, you live on a boat, like, that's the life you decided. But it's absolutely It's not dangerous. when you're trying to have a piss and you're getting 
tipped up and <laughs> tipped out of the bathroom at the same time. And whilst you're being in the toilet, you're rolling so much, you're always then coming out of the toilet. <laughs> but we are two days, 17 hours in the Canary Islands. How long have we been on here? Day, this is day, day five, but we left in the evening, didn't we? Yeah, so three and a half days. So four days will be 7 p.m. this evening. No, five days. Really? Shut up, it feels like longer than that. Yeah. Fucking hell, four three, days. Three and a half days, so four days will be tonight. But we have done four nights with that. Yeah. This is why we're tired and ratty, because when you have to be on shifts all night for six days in a row, and one night you have a fucking horrible storm, and then the next night you're rocking and rolling like it's the 60s all over again. So we are begging that tonight is like the first two nights were, just nice and calm, a little bit of wind, keep us stable, means so we can go to sleep. <laughs> Go on. Hello, uh, so we've just arrived in the Canary Islands, seven days at sea, 700 miles. It wasn't seven days, it was six days, six hours. I don't know if you can hear me, but we've just got to Gran Canaria after Hello. six days and six hours at sea. And uh, we're about to go ashore and walk on land first time. And find some takeaway food. Yeah, find some takeaway food. <laughs> Scrumpy. Scrumpy say hello. He's, he's very excited for... Oh my God, <laughs> Scrumpy. He's now balancing on the front of the boat. He's that excited for his uh, first walk ashore after six days. 